Hello everyone and welcome back to Tuesday. Today we're going to be opening some more mail guys. I don't know when the last mail opening video was. It was quite a while ago and I do have a lot of mail here so I'm going to try and go through them fairly quickly so I don't have to keep you here for like an hour opening mail with me. But uh, the first letter I'm going to open is from Christopher in Melbourne, Australia. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Australia before. I could be wrong. Either way, let's open it up. I'm really curious how he actually got this inside the envelope. I had to rip the entire envelope open to get it out. Okay, well, first thing I see here is five markers. They are doodle scents. Oh, so they smell. Oh, I wanna see what this one smells like. It smells weird. It smells, smells really weird. I also don't know what this one smells like. It, uh, it has a picture of a cloud. A happy cloud and some birds on it. I didn't think that was a smell. This one is watermelon. Mmm, now that smells good. Then we have a weird looking yellow dude in an elephant trunk. What the hell? Oh look, I actually found out where the smells are located on the thingy. I couldn't find it before. This one is barnyard. That's a really weird thing to make something smell like, a burn. Apparently this is just evergreen tree. Okay, well it doesn't smell like any of the evergreen trees around here, and we got a bunch of them. And uh, the, the sky one is called Breath of Fresh Air, and the last one here is Buttered Popcorn. Mm. Okay, Christopher has a quick would you rather for me. Would you rather um, all the McDonald's disappear, or all the Burger King slash Hungry Jacks disappear? I've never had Hungry Jacks before, I'm not even sure what it is, but... Um, um, I would rather the McDonald's disappear because I like Burger King more. Yeah. Also, would you rather travel back in time or forward in time? I'm gonna say I would rather travel forward in time because they probably got a lot of cool shit in the future. Bailey from Pennsylvania says, Dear Matt, I love your videos. I can't go on Twitter because my mom won't let me. I hope you like the fan art. I work really hard on it. I'm Bailey and I like your vids. From Bailey. P.S. I'm from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. I didn't know there was a place called Lebanon, Pennsylvania. That's cool. Jordan from Newfoundland says, Dear Matt Shea, you're my favorite YouTuber. I've been working to make you fan mail for a while now. I'm finally doing it. You're the person I've actually sent mail to. I have been watching your videos for a while. I just want to say, keep it up. P.S. Do you know when the next Newfoundland Gaming Expo is? Um, yes, I do. There's actually a Facebook event for it. I'll try and put it down below in the description. Uh, it's not until, I think, July. Yeah, it's sometime in July. So, um, there is a while to wait, but, um, I'm gonna be there, so I hope to see you there. Harrison from Georgia says, hello again, my name is Harrison. I sent you a letter before with a glittery wizard hat, forgetting you hated glitter. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. So instead of handwriting this letter, I'm gonna type it. Your channel has come a long way since I first started watching, which was around 200,000 subs. Now you have almost a million. You've had some extreme growth and it makes me so happy every day to come home and see you have more videos. Now there's something I like about you that makes me want to watch your videos more than anyone else. You have a very unique personality. I don't know what it is about you, um, about it, but you make everyone watching your videos feel like a community. Now I'm 13, so I probably don't know what I'm saying, but you are always happy and full of hilarious jokes and fill me with laughter and joy. Oh, well, thank you very much. That is really sweet. Now. When, uh, what you got in the mail is a 3D printed brass knuckle. Ooh, shit. I used a Lulzbot 3D printer for it with yellow filament. I then painted three layers of silver color. Damn, look at, look at this thing right here. Oh, man. Okay. I'm ready to beat people up now with, with some plastic. Ah! Thank you very much. This is actually really freaking cool. Xander from Portland, Oregon says, I started watching your videos when I was 10. You made me laugh. The first videos I watched were your school days. They made me laugh so loud. You are my favorite YouTuber of all time. My favorite videos are your Hitman, Amazing Frog, and Stick RPG 2. I hope you read this. It's okay if you don't, but just so you know, you are the best. Your fan, Xander. Thank you very much, buddy. Morgan from Maine says, Hi, Matt. I love your videos so much. I've been watching your videos since August 2015. I really just wanted to say thank you. When I'm sad or just need a laugh, I watch your videos. I love the games you choose to play. My favorite is Slime Rancher. You are the first YouTuber I've ever sent something to. I know it is not the best, but I thought you deserved this drawing for all the hard work you do. Love, Morgan. And on the back, there is this drawing right here. Hmm. All right, this one is from Amoresh in New Jersey. And um, this is what I opened up to. It says bushy eyebrows, it's kind of hard to see, but it says bushy eyebrows and it's my face and a wizard hat. Oh, it says, Dear Matt, you have bushy eyebrows. Oh, yes I do. But wait, there's a back. Dear Matt, you are an awesome YouTuber and make my day when I'm feeling down. One thing I like about you is how you upload frequently and never let your viewers down. If you could upload horror games, I think your channel will be the best. Not that it already isn't, or already, not that it already is. Oh, okay, so it's not the best. Great, I understand. Anyway, I just want to remind you that you're amazing. I'm so grateful if someone across your channel. 
from Amoresh13. Thank you very much. Um, I don't really do many horror games because I'm a bit of a little bitch, plus I'm just not a huge fan of horror games, but you know, there's some every now and then. I played Rival Strangers recently. Um, so yeah, if, if you find a really interesting horror game that catches my eye, maybe I'll play it. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, this letter has the most adorable seal ever. Look at that. It's a little melon and he's so happy. <laughs> Okay, this is from Eva in Maine. It says, Dear Matt, you are the best YouTuber in the history of YouTube. Whenever I'm sad or bored, I always watch your awesome sauce Happy Wheels videos. You should do more Happy Wheels. I do it every Saturday. I don't know if anyone's caught that or not, but it is every Saturday. Keep up the good work. P.S. Can you put my picture and letter in one of your videos? Boom! Letters in the video. Yeah! And there's a picture down here as well, so we'll open that up. There's more to the letter as well, but I'll read that after. Boom! Look at that. Ooh, okay. It says, Matt Shea. With the, with the whiz word, and there's some uh, watermelons, and there's a dead baby. <laughs> I don't know. I feel really bad because I'm, like, encouraging people to draw dead babies for me. Uh, there's a dragon. All right, the next letter we're going to open, guys, is a pretty big one, and apparently it has miscellaneous candy in it. Ooh! Okay, this is the best thing ever. Matt Shea's Guide to State Abbreviations for the United States of America. Look at that. And they've also noted here that Minnesota... Um, is also known as South Canada. I mean, yeah, I can see that because I've seen people from like Minnesota on like TV and stuff And they do seem to be like a bunch of Canadians south of the border. Hey Matt My name is Ali and I live in Minnesota. I love your videos. I found your channel on accident But it was the best accident happy face. I talked to you a lot on Twitter um, I'm sending you a guide to state abbreviations and some candy a couple questions Do you like pulp in your orange juice? Yes, I do love pulp pulp is great and do you have plans to come to Minnesota? No plans to ever come to Minnesota. Not that I uh, don't want to go there, but I mean, there's also no plans for me to go to X state. You know, I don't have any immediate plans, and I might end up there someday. You never know. Maybe I'll go for a drive through the states. Keep doing what you're doing. Love always, Allie. Oh, and a graphic design elephant is inside also, which is right here. Pretty cool elephant, man. So the candy that we have is um, Airheads, Watermelon Airheads. I'm not sure if I've had the watermelon ones before. I think I may have. Um, also a Starburst, or a couple Starbursts in, in there. It just says original on it. I don't know what flavors they are. I guess you find it once you open it. And a Snickers. Timothy from New Jersey says, Dear Matt Shea, I wanted to write a letter to you about how I appreciate what you do. You, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, and PewDiePie inspired me to make my own YouTube channel. Thank you. I am now going to reference my handy-dandy guide to state abbreviations because I don't know what the hell WV is. West Virginia. I forgot that was even a state. All right, so Jasmine from West Virginia sent me a whole bunch of different letters. I'm just going to go ahead and read one of them for you guys. Um, it's a doodle of me saying, oh shit, because I've realized that um, Evie and Boybot um, said that I was kidnapped. I'm not sure. It was Evie who said it, apparently. Matt got kidnapped. And here's, here's me saying, oh shit. Oh shit. Cameron from Newfoundland says, Hello, my name is Cameron, and it looks like you live in Newfoundland, I think. But that is where I live. Yes. Yes, I do live in Newfoundland, and I guess, yes, you live there as well. I think you're one of the best YouTubers I know. Thank you very much. And I also have a question here. What kind of computer slash laptop do you have? Um, I have a MacBook Pro for a, a laptop because it's really small and easy to carry around. I don't do too much on it. And my, uh, my PC I have that I game on is custom built. The specs for the PC are in my um, about page on YouTube. I think I, uh, I was a 75,000 subscriber video where I show you my computer. A, bit, a few things have changed, but that's basically the computer. So if you do want to see that, that would be a good video to watch. Sorry I could not give you any candy. It costs money, sad face. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to send me any candy. Samantha from North Carolina sent me a really long typed up letter, so I'll read you like the first paragraph or so. Dear Matt Shea, I firstly want to say I love your videos and you're probably my favorite YouTuber of all time. Thank you very much. I love to see your channel growing and I'm super proud of you. Keep up the good work. At first, I actually thought you were American and I was so proud that an American YouTuber can actually get that many subscribers. There are a lot of American YouTubers with a lot of subscribers. Many more than there are in Canada. It's more impressive that I'm a Canadian YouTuber with a lot of subscribers, really. Uh, then I was watching one of your Akinator videos and found out that you were Canadian. But I think British YouTubers are still even more popular than normal YouTubers, so keep up the good work. You are very funny, and that is what makes you watchable to me. Well, I honestly don't know if there are more British YouTubers who are popular in comparison to, like, American YouTubers, but either way, I really appreciate that you think I'm funny. So thank you. Oliver from Wales says, Dear Matt, my cat Starkey and I watch your videos. You make me feel really happy and laugh. And they included um, a little drawing here. And Trip has a penis on his head. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. So I'm assuming, look away if you don't want to see a, a, a penis drawn on someone's head. But if you do, then here you go. Trip is a dickhead, apparently. Yeah.
Okay, assuming I'm pronouncing this right, Aliyah from Michigan says, Matt, I really don't know how long I've been watching you on YouTube. Every day I go home and open my tablet slash computer thingy up and watch the videos you post. I personally think you are really funny. Now that I remember, the first video that I had watched was Facade. Is that now, is that how you spell it? Um, yes, but it has a little squiggly under the C. Not that anyone really cares about the squiggly under the C. Uh, plus, your Sims 4 videos, thank you for being funny and a happy person. P.S. I love cats. My cat's name is... Um, what the hell? Skittles. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got really confused for a second. I read is, and they wrote is with uh, multiple I's and S's, and I thought that it was the cat's name. I was like, what the hell? Why would you name your cat is? But no, the cat's name is Skittles. That is a, that is a cool name for a cat. In addition to that, there is also a nice little drawing in here. May from New York says, Dear Matt Shea, I wrote a letter to you, and when I went searching for it so I can mail it, I discovered that I lost it. Oh. That's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah, that is just lovely in a very sarcastic way. Damn. Okay, I'm going to skip over anything that's like super personal. Um, there's a there's a paragraph here that says, here's a funny story. When I first discovered your channel, I stumbled upon it while looking for Sims videos, mostly trying to learn about their deaths. One day I was watching a video of yours on my laptop and I saw that a recommended video uh, was about Matt Shea getting arrested with a thumbnail as a creepy old guy. At first I freaked out and thought my mom will kill me if <laughs> she found out that I was watching a criminal. Then I discovered Facade and learned that you're a young man who isn't a criminal, hopefully. Well, I think we're all criminals, technically. I mean, we all break the law now and then. But I'm not a violent criminal, so that's good, right? Yeah. All right, according to my handy-dandy guide to state abbreviations for United States of America, um, MT is actually the abbreviation for Montana. So this letter is from Montana. Dear Matt, my name is Mikey. I am your number one fan. They wrote it in capital letters, so I had to be at least a little bit um, louder than usual. I love your videos. Please play the game, Papers, please. It is a fun game. Jacksepticeye is playing it, and I like that series. Oh, and sorry for the bad handwriting. A lot of people have been recommending me that. Um, a lot of people always recommend me games that Jacksepticeye is playing. Um, I played Papers, Please a long time ago. I made like one video on it. It did okay, maybe. I don't know. It was back when my channel was really small. One day I'll probably go back to it, but it won't be right now because, I mean, then it's kind of like, oh, you know, a different YouTuber made this game popular. I'm just going to jump on and try and absorb some of those views. And I don't want to do that, okay? I'm doing my own thing instead. All right, I'm taking a break for a second here so that I can eat the Starburst. It turns out they're both cherry, I think. Is that cherry? Yeah, cherry. Cherry's my favorite, so we're good. Okay, so we have three letters left. They're the biggest ones out of them. This one here is stuffed with a whole bunch of pieces of paper, and it's from Manchester. Dear Matt, my name is Harrison. I live in England, Manchester. I am 10 years old, and I would love to do... YouTube like you. I would love it if you could put this in a mail opening video so I could see your reaction. Here's my reaction. Oh my god! That's a letter! So here's what's inside this envelope. We have this picture of Pikachu. We have this picture of my logo and Yandere Chan. We have this cute little picture of Octodad. And lastly, we have this picture of me with a wizard hat on. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see that very well, but it seems like every time I go to watch, watch back the footage, it's fine. But when I see it on my viewfinder here, it always looks really freaking washed out. But yeah, that's the letter from Manchester. Now we have two more to do. This one right here is probably one of the heaviest uh, pieces of mail I've gotten. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but we're about to find out. Okay. It's a bag for Listerine, and it smells like Listerine. I'm not sure if I'm going to find Listerine in here as well. I feel like I won't. Oh, okay. So it turns out this person thinks that I have bad breath. I don't know how they are. They know that, considering they only see me on the internet. But um, we've got this uh, Listerine Total Care Zero. Okay. A toothbrush. Another toothbrush. Some toothpaste. Some more toothpaste. Some Listerine again. And some floss. Hey Matt, saw that you've been getting a lot of candy and as a dental assistant I wanted to send a care package for you and Ashley to help keep your guys' teeth clean. P.S. Love your videos, they make my day. Danielle. And she even included the cutest little drawing. Uh, did I say included? I, I, I don't know what I just said. If I said that, then okay. Uh, she included the cutest little drawing of a little girl. Um, uh, she's a fairy. I guess it's the tooth fairy and she's holding a tooth. I'm, I'm not very good at picking up on things, am I? Of course it's a tooth fairy. Come on, Matt. And the last thing we're going to open today, guys, is from uh, Tiffany Tracy. You may remember the name by now because she sent me a lot of stuff. I also met her at Pack South. Super cool person. Um, she sent me, she gave me cheese at Pack South. She gave me, um, I, I mentioned this already, but um, yeah, I got uh, three different types of cheese from her. Her and, uh, her, and uh, her boyfriend. So that was super cool. 
Um, this one has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Let's just start with this one right here. It says, grow a mustache, please. And honestly, if I had to grow a mustache, it would be the dirtiest, grossest mustache you've ever seen. You don't, you don't want that. You, you don't. Hi, Matt. Chris and I had an amazing time at PAX South with you, and uh, you were just so happy to see us, and that made my year. I got you this gift because of what you said at PAX. Hopefully, Ashley don't mind two, uh, two Mattis, what? Hopefully, Ashley doesn't mind two Maddies. LOL, can't wait to see you at Indie PopCon. We love stocking you guys at PAX. I am going to be at Indie PopCon. Just want to point that out. At least I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I do want to go. Okay, and now for the gift. I don't know if it's all one thing. Oh, oh, hang on. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a picture of me and Tiffany and Chris at PAX South. But that's not all. There is also, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this this is what I think it is, guys. So if you guys watch the PAX South vlog, you may remember I showed you a pillowcase that I signed for Tiffany. She has a pillowcase with my um, face on it. Well, it turns out that she actually made me one too. Look at it. <laughs> so uh, my fiance is currently on vacation in Florida. She's gone to Florida with one of her friends for a week. So she's not coming back till next weekend. And when she gets back, she's going to be super surprised when her pillow is replaced with my face. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so that is all the mail for today, guys. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for, um, you know, all the mail you sent me since I started uh, my P.O. Box. I've gotten a lot, and uh, it really, uh, it, it's really humbling, uh, and it's really flattering that people take the time to write me uh, letters. It's really flattering to even have anybody who watches me on YouTube. You know, I'm just a guy sitting behind a computer screen. So, uh, you know, to think that not only do people like me enough to watch me on YouTube, but they also like me enough to sit down and write me letters which is super freaking cool. So you're all really awesome, whether or not you sent me a letter or not. The fact that you're sitting here watching me right now means that you're awesome. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.